Human Settlements Human settlement is a place where people live. They vary in terms of their size, composition, location, arrangement, organization, function and history. Human settlements are divided on the basis of two categories. One, development and two, location of human settlement. Based on development, they are divided into urban and rural settlements. Based on location, they are divided into nucleated and dispersed settlements. Human settlements in India In India, diverse type settlements are found across India. Nucleated settlements are found throughout the plateau region of Narmada Valley, Paddy Lands in Bihar, UP, Vindhyan Plateau and several other cultivated parts of India. Dispersed settlements are found in tribal parts covering central part of India, eastern and southern Rajasthan, Himalayan slopes and land with dissected and uneven topography. Human Settlements in Brazil The earliest settlements in Brazil were formed by the settlers from Europe, mainly in the coastal areas. Now, the settlements have developed all over Brazil and they are densely populated. Although the coastal climate is hot and humid, and flat land is limited due to rugged topography, the region has a good water supply and a large range of natural resources. For example, Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo has extensive area under rich soil which makes it ideal for growing coffee. It also has a large supply of natural minerals close by, such as iron ore, and it also has a steady energy supply. The southeastern area has a good transport system too. This makes the Sao Paulo area a nucleated settlement. Rural areas such as the Northeast Highlands which make it difficult for practicing agriculture and hence settlements are sparse here. Settlements become sparse as we move in towards the central part of Brazil. This is because of the following reasons. 1. Area is covered by thick, dense equatorial rainforests. 2. The climate here is unhealthy and unfit for settlement. 3. Limitations on use and exploitation of natural resources. 4. Poor transport links in the region. Let's do a comparative study on differences between the human settlements on the banks of River Ganga and River Amazon. Nucleated settlements are found on the Ganga River Basin. Dispersed settlements are found on the Amazon River Basin. Ideal for living as it has fertile soil and abundant water. Unsuitable for living due to marshy lands and dense forest. Well connected by roadways and railways. Poor transport connectivity due to dense forest. Tropical climate conditions with medium rainfall. Tropical climate conditions with medium rainfall. Agriculture is the main activity of the people living here. Forestry is carried out by tribal communities living here. Settlement is clustered along the bank of river. Settlement is dispersed within the dense forest. Urbanization in India The level of urbanization is measured in terms of percentage of urban population to total population. The level of urbanization in India in 2011 was 31.16%, which is quite low in comparison to developed countries. At the same time, the urban population is increasing, expansion of the urban centers and emergence of new towns have played a significant role in the growth of urban population and urbanization in the country. Urbanization has been more in the southern part than in the northern part of India. Goa is the most urbanized state with 62% population living in urban areas. Delhi is more than 80% urban. In the state of Tamil Nadu, Maharashtra, Gujarat and Kerala, urbanization is more. Himachal Pradesh, Jammu Kashmir, Uttarakhand, Bihar, Rajasthan are some of the states with low levels of urbanization. Urbanization in Brazil Brazil is one of the few developing countries which is highly urbanized. Brazil's substantial urban growth process is unique and one of the underlining factors contributing to its present-day rapid economic growth. Today, about 86% of Brazil population lives in an urban area. Urban is not very clear in Brazil. 
In Brazil, rapid urbanization happened mainly in the south and southeast, with Sao Paulo emerging as a major metropolitan and industrial area. Looking at this growth in few parts of the country, the government is promoting Go West policy, which will reduce pressure on few areas where population is concentrated and will reduce regional imbalance in the country. As we can see from the map, urbanization has occurred more in the coastal states than in the states in the interior of the country. States like Sao Paulo, Goiás and Minas Gerais have more urban population than states in the north. As population is less in the Amazon Basin and Brazilian highlands, urbanization is also less. In this part, Manaus is a port on the confluence of the Negro and the Amazon. Urbanization has occurred here.